Understanding Balcony Materials, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to dive into the world of English phrases and idioms, specifically focusing on the term balcony materials. This phrase might sound a bit technical, but it's actually quite interesting when you break it down. So, let's get started and explore what this phrase means and how you can use it in everyday English conversations. First, let's look at the literal meaning of balcony materials. A balcony is a platform on the outside of a building, usually accessed from an upper floor. It's a place where people can step outside, enjoy the view, or get some fresh air. Materials, on the other hand, refer to the substances or things needed to make or do something. So, when we talk about balcony materials, we are literally referring to the various substances or items used in the construction or design of a balcony. This could include wood, metal, concrete, railings, and floor coverings. Interestingly, balcony materials can also be used in a figurative sense. In English, many phrases have meanings that go beyond the literal interpretation. In this context, balcony materials could metaphorically represent the foundational elements or aspects of a situation or project. For instance, if someone says, we need to gather all our balcony materials before starting this project, they mean they need to collect all the necessary information, resources, or people needed to begin. Let's put balcony materials into context with some everyday examples. In a business meeting, before we launch the new marketing campaign, let's make sure we have all our balcony materials in place. In a classroom setting, for your science project, consider all the balcony materials you'll need to execute your idea effectively. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to various scenarios, emphasizing the importance of preparation and having the right resources. I hope this video has been informative and has helped you understand the phrase, balcony materials, a bit better. Whether used literally or figuratively, it's a great example of how English can be playful and versatile. Keep practicing, and don't be afraid to try using this phrase in your own conversations. Until next time, happy learning!